The KHUB Morning Show with Matt Price. I'm sorry that I was right all along. On 1340 KHUB. We're about 20 minutes away from the 9 o'clock hour. KHUB 1340 online at myfremontradio.com and on Facebook. Stop on by and click like at KHUB 1340. Once again, time for our bi-weekly chat with the Fremont Chamber. We have Ron Tillery with us this morning and we also have Dr. Amy DeVries with us from the Fremont Vision Source. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Thanks Good morning. for coming in. Thank you well, for having us. Yes, of course. Uh, it's an exciting time of year for a lot of people, an exciting time of year for the businesses with us today. You were just talking on air about uh, you're in business now. Yeah. That's exciting news. Well, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, way. too. It's, yeah. it's, it's that time of year. Everybody's getting ready. It doesn't feel like geared it. Up. Well, it's it's just now starting. I know. It's, the, the weather hasn't cooperated yet, but I hear we're moving closer to what it's supposed yes. to be like. This weekend, we could see some snow for sure. Yeah. So. Well... Amy and I were getting acquainted, reacquainted uh, uh, before the show. Um, we first met about a year ago uh, when uh, she took over the practice. Uh, January of 2012, we had a ribbon cutting out there. That's right. And um, it's really terrific because over the past year, uh, she's made some changes and uh, added some new services that uh, uh, I didn't know about, but I think would be of interest to a lot of people out there. Yeah, outstanding. Why don't you go ahead and tell us about Fremont Vision Source? Well, Fremont Vision Source is a locally owned optometry practice that's been in the community since about 1948. It was started by Dr. Paul Todd, later turned over to his son, Dr. Robert Todd, and then I took over from there as of this year. We really service the whole family. We enjoy the full scope of optometry. We like to focus on medical optometry, providing ocular disease diagnosis and management, but all the way through pediatrics. And we are, do participate in different programs like the Infant C program and the C to Learn program. Wow. Now, I, I, I think that's fascinating because, um, um, you know, a, an infant or a toddler may have difficulty expressing uh, exactly. that there's a problem or that they can't see. They don't know the difference. That's so right. How do you actually... What's the process of getting sure. to know them better? And it is surprising to some people to learn that you can do a full comprehensive eye exam without a patient speaking one word to you. It's very possible we do it for a lot of different types of patients, but for infants and young toddlers specifically, of course I'm not going to ask them which is more clear one or two. We have different instruments and different ways of getting the evaluation done without them responding. Infants, surprisingly enough, are often your easiest eye exams because they're not talking to you. They're pretty much still moms holding them in their lap. You show them a toy, get their fixation in the right area, and take a look at their eyes with the toddlers you do have to charm them you know make it fun for them so that they're willing to look at the light so that they're willing to stay in the chair long enough to get the vision assessment done but really what we do is with infants and children we're looking to make sure that they do not have a visual condition that could impair their learning there's so much in education and learning that is key to vision and like you mentioned children aren't going to say i see double when i read they think this is the way everyone sees this is their normal world of vision so it's important to get these vision assessments done early in life so if problems are there they can be detected and corrected for before it hinders them in the in the classroom well what all the other things that parents have to deal with with uh, uh raising a child uh you know this is maybe one more thing that adds expense or, or, or something of that sort, but so and how are you ha handling exactly, that? Exactly, that's why these programs exist. So Infancy and See to Learn are both programs that provide no cost vision ev evaluations. So an Infancy patient would be any child between six months and 12 months, and a See to Learn patient would be within their three year old age um, and there is no insurance to deal with there is no cost to the patient or the, to the parents it's completely a uh, public health awareness program that optometrists do to help let people be aware that these issues are out there that we are here to help them and to make it not have a cost barrier for the parents so as as, as a parent's getting ready uh, uh, to put a child into 
preschool or something mm-hmm. of that sort, that's probably a good a good time. Exactly. Good that's why the three-year-old age range is the one that See to Learn likes to capture. As the children are getting into more structured classroom environments, needing to be able to respond to the stimulus that the teacher presented so that their behavior is not interrupted, all of those things play in. So we want to catch them in infancy for the issues that might affect their neurological development, catch them at three years old so that they're able and prepared for learning in preschool. And then Nebraska does have a children's vision law requiring an eye exam for any child going into kindergarten. And that's key also because that's when they're really expected to have their behavior under control, sit nicely, listen, observe, respond to visual stimulus, all of those things. So would a vision problem contribute to a behavior problems? Absolutely. Well, if for a child, if they're sitting there at their seat, expected to look at a piece of paper and read and respond to it, and if it's blurry, if it's double, if it hurts their head to look at it, they're not going to be engaged and w- look at it and be interested. They're going to say, well, I don't know what the big deal is. I don't want to do this anymore. And then they'll look around, punch their neighbor, walk around the classroom and then those behavior issues are dealt with and it can affect a child's confidence and self-esteem thinking that they're not smart enough to learn when really it's just that they haven't there's not a lo- uh, level playing field. They need more tools That's provided. Fascinating. Yeah. How many employees do you have at your uh, your business? We have 10, counting myself. We have two doctors, myself and Dr. Laura Schindler, and then we have eight other staff members with us. We have a wonderful team, and I absolutely am so thankful for my staff. They make the experience really great for all of our patients, and we try to keep it a friendly, welcoming environment for the staff and the patients. Being it's almost the end of the year, a lot of people have flex spending accounts. Uh, is that something that they can uh, use Absolutely. their money on? Flex spending accounts are something to really be aware of because you put money in and if you don't use it by a deadline, you can lose those benefits. You can use your flex spending money for eye exams, glasses, contact lenses, prescription sunglasses, and there's a lot of things that people can look into to use their their flex dollars, maybe to get that pair of polarized sunglasses that's going to help you be able to drive more comfortably and not have to feel like you're, you know, pulling on your purse strings because you need to use up your benefits anyway. Mm-hmm. Very true. Tell us a little bit about... Um the services that you provide, and uh, you also have a great warranty. Absolutely. So we have a full-service optical with a two-year bumper-to-bumper warranty on our glasses. If anything help it happens to the frame or the lenses, we're going to be backing up that product and um, be able to replace it for you. As far as our services go, we have um, full-scope optometric services, including ocular disease diagno- diagnosis and management, um, routine vision care, contact lens fitting, pediatric services, basically your full eye care provider. All right, what are your hours? We are open on Mondays 8 to 8, Tuesday through Friday 8 to 5, and Saturday 8 to noon. All right. So you, you've got some evening hours We there have opened up evening hours to try to make ourselves more available for people who do work during the daytime and make the availability more flexible. Um, can you pass along your phone number and then maybe if there's anything we, we can do to find you online anywhere? Absolutely. We're at 402-721-8032. And you can also look more information up on our website. It's www.visionsource-fremont.com. That sounds good. Visionsource-fremont.com. Right? That's okay. correct. All right. Uh, anything else that you wanted to pass along about I just the business? Thank you for having me. Of it's course. been a pleasure to be a part of this community, and I we're, just we're really glad to have you. And and this is another home-owned business that uh, I think that all of our chamber members and the whole community uh, uh, likes to support. Thank you. We appreciate it. So where did you uh, go to school? I did my optometry training in California at Southern California College of Optometry. Some people see my diploma and think I grew up there. Actually, I grew up in Colorado. But I did do my optometry school in California. I did my undergrad in Texas. Outstanding. And uh, the technology is always changing with uh, your business. Uh, How do you keep up with all that? Absolutely. That's something that we really value is having our equipment be at the technological forefront of our profession. We just updated our visual field instrument. We have a new Humphrey visual field analyzer, which is an instrument that we use primarily for glaucoma, but other types of optic nerve issues and macular issues. It lets us analyze the person's visual field 
then takes the numbers and analyzes it according to a normative database and then a glaucomatous database, which gives us a lot of information key to the management of glaucoma. Once again, we're talking with Dr. Amy DeVries with the Fremont Vision Source. Uh, phone number, once again, is 402-721-8032. And uh, you can stop on by. As we mentioned before, uh, we're approaching the end of the year, and if you have a flex spending account and you know you didn't spend as much money uh, on that that you expected this year, and it's time to get a vision check and get some glasses, contacts, or anything else, uh, you're the person to see. That's right. right. Cool. Well, thanks and for And I'm assuming you've got a whole range of stylish frames. and We do. That's yeah. another thing we focused on this year is bringing in new frame lines. We have a lot of really exciting lines that we have in our optical now. Our office, or our optical manager's name is Jennifer, and she and our other staff would be happy to fit anyone in a very stylish but functional pair of glasses. That would be a great Christmas gift. Yes, yeah. I agree. All right. Uh, there's a lot going on with the chamber. You guys have your uh, open house coming up and the holiday party and raffle drawing. We do. Have you bought your raffle ticket? I did. Yet? I'm very happy to hear that. I did. I, I bought from Jessica, and I said, you know, I'll take whatever you can give me, but uh, I like the uh, the iPad. Okay. We've got three tr- uh, three big prizes: yeah. the iPad and all the uh, accessories. Uh, we've got a 50-inch uh, flat screen TV from Audiovisual uh, Specialist. Mm-hmm. And also a snowblower. And I think there may be a need for a snowblower in our future. <laughs> I agree. Uh, so uh, the, the, uh, uh, a single ticket gets three chances to win. Okay. And if you're actually at the, uh, the drawing at our open house, the building open house, you'll get to choose which of the uh, items that you would like to, okay. to Tic- take home with you. Tickets are $10 a piece. Right. Um, There's only 499 available, so chances are pretty good to win something. That's right. Um, It happens next Wednesday from 3 to 5 p.m. at the Chamber. That's right, and we'll have um, hors d'oeuvres and uh, refreshments, and uh, should be a nice time. All right, sounds good. Uh, The latest um, economic indicator report was released. Anything uh, that stuck out to you on that? Well, we're ending the year. on a pretty good solid note with uh, real estate sales. Uh, It's been a good year and uh, that market has recovered uh, pretty strongly. Um, I think for the year both uh, total volume, total number of units and the average sale price uh, per unit have uh, increased substantially. Added to that I think that the uh, the average uh, selling price compared to the listing price Mm -hmm. That gap has uh, narrowed quite a bit, which is always good news. Mm -hmm. Uh, So we're pleased about the the recovery on the real estate side. Uh, uh, Retail sales were softer uh, this month, uh, down about 5.5%, and also uh, that's on the heels of uh, another month that was was relatively soft. We think that um, we may be seeing some market erosion uh, as a result of new uh, stores opening in nearby markets. Uh, uh, that uh, has limited the amount of uh, traffic, external traffic that's coming into Fremont as a, a destination, okay. a shopping destination. That may moderate a bit uh, going forward. Uh, we're keeping a close eye on that. But it, it's still relatively uh, solid uh, through the entire year, year to date. Good. And uh, you released some uh, information on uh, Black Friday as well. It looked like there was some good information in there. Yeah, that was a very interesting survey that we had. Uh, um, I think that Black Friday uh, is starting to lose a little bit of its luster. I agree. Uh, and, and, but what's picking up the slack is Saturday, Sunday, and Monday mm-hmm. as a part of that um, that. that uh, extended cluster of days mm-hmm. for shopping. I think that uh, uh, the weekend traffic was substantially better uh, than prior years, but Black Friday was down just a little bit. All right. Well, um, if you would like to learn more about the chamber or become a member, uh, give you a call or Jessica. Jessica is always <laughs> worth a good call. Okay. Uh, she can uh, 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 visit with the uh, any prospective member and, and give them a, a good uh, understanding of the benefits of the chamber, the um, uh, uh, services that we offer. Uh, but of course, any uh, chamber employee is, is capable of doing that. 402-721-2641? Right on the money. All right, all right, cool. 
All right. Thanks for your time, both of you, and uh, we hope to see you soon. Dr. Amy DeVries from Fremont Vision Source was in studio with us this morning as well. Thanks again. Thank you for having me. All right, Ron Tillery. Good to see you again. Merry Christmas again. Uh, Merry Christmas. All right, 855-1340-KHB, online at myfremontradio.com.